the crap they know 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 the crap Hello hello to my wonderful crafty creators how are y'all doing I am Felicia with the Crafting Nook, and today I am going to do a bottle, okay? But there's a twist to it. There always has to be a twist to it. And this little LED light is going to go with it. Cover your eyes. See how bright it is? Okay. So anyway, this sits on top of this display, all right? Um, this is a little like it's a little out of shape right there so i will be adding taking just a can just to hold it over on both sides so that it will be level okay not level but it will equal out round like it's supposed to okay i had got that from a very dear friend of mine miss Catherine lease she sent that over to me um so I already have my resin um, that I want to pour in here, but I'm going to pour it at that stage. Um, I'm going to pour it till run right about right here because I have another bottle that I'm going to put inside. Okay. And so there you see, I will need to pour it around that area. Okay. So I have 40 milliliters of resin. I'm using Padua resin and I'm using Lorez Expressions Deep Blue Sea tint. Okay, so that's what I'll be using. And let me just get my gloves and stuff together and I'll be right there. There's one more thing I wanted to add a little bit of, I don't know whether I want the foil or I want to put the Iceland um, iridescent flitters in there because I think that will be pretty. I think that'll be real pretty. Um, I think that's so, uh, uh, maybe, maybe I'll do both, okay? Maybe I'll do both. Since I'm unsure and I don't know what I wanna do, but uh, the Iceland iridescent flitters, you can get those from Lorez Expressions as well, okay? Um, I have a coupon code in the description below and it is on Laura's art corner the code is crafting nook 10 all caps okay so we're just gonna add a little bit just want to add a little bit of those iridescent flitters in there okay cuz I don't I don't want it to take over <clears throat> I'll leave those there and as far as my gold flake let's see can i just get it torn into some little pieces here because i don't want much of this either my ceiling frame i think so so we are doctoring it up okay and you don't have to you don't you don't have to do this this is just something that i'm doing all right i just think it would add to the piece a little okay maybe that's all of what I need there I'll break this up a little bit more I hope y'all are doing good today if you're new here welcome I like to welcome all of you we go live every Monday Wednesday and Friday 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time Okay, and we do live crafting. So if you'd like to join us, that'll be great. Okay. That would be awesome sauce. So let's try to get these in. I knew this was gonna be hard. I knew it, I knew it was gonna be hard. They can all just fall in. It'll be fine by me. And I'm hoping like once this part cures a little bit that I will be able to 
um, stick my jar in. And um, in case you didn't know, what I plan on doing is putting some ashes into this jar, okay? Have it as a little nightstand. I think that will be a nice little twist to it. So we have a little bit going in there. It's not a lot. I don't want it to be a lot either. I just want it so that it is there, okay? Don't want a lot. I don't want to take away from what we're actually doing so that we could actually see. I introduced some more bubbles um, by adding the fall and using this popsicle stick. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just let this sit here for maybe a, a minute or so. And while I let it sit there, I can discuss with you um, some other little things. So on, I have to get with my live audience and see, but I do want to do a glow in the dark. I don't even know when this video is gonna go out, but it's gonna go out soon. But I, want, I do want to do a glow in the dark uh, checkerboard with the chess with the chessman. I don't know whether I'm gonna do the chessman. I, I take that back. I might do the chessman, but I know definitely it will be the checkerboard itself. I want to do it in a glow in the dark. And um, I also want to do dominoes in the glow in the dark. So we may do all of that live um, and see what happens from there. Okay see what happens from there so i'm gonna try to pour this in carefully because i don't want it to go all on the sides or anything like that let's let that uh sift down into the top like you can see the bubbles the bubbles started to rise okay I just want to make sure that it's really good down there. Okay. And so now I'm just going to look from the side area from what I need to do. So I think that this 40 milliliters is good enough. I think that it's good enough. Try to get all of this goodness out of here. <laughs> all of the goodness. And see, I do see some um, resin like on the sides, but I'm going in with the same color. So maybe, you know, it won't be really bad. Cause I was, I was trying not to get anything on the sides. I really was. So you can see everything in there. It looks nice. I think when it gets on display, it'll look really good. You see all of those little micro bubbles? That's what I did. So since I have a little bit of micro bubbles, I'm gonna use um, one of these. I'm not gonna use my heat gun, but I am gonna use the smaller um, good so that I can reach down in there at the bottom. Got my clothes a little twisted. So let's see, let this go around me. It's time for a new one, right? <laughs> Blow it off to the side first. Because then I don't want anything in it. Okay, and I'm just going in here to go around. Um, try to make everything fall down in there. Try to make sure I don't have any bubbles that just happens to show up. Okay. And <clears throat> I'm sorry for 
clearing my throat but there's a bit of a little cold that I'm experiencing right now okay so I it seems like all the bubbles don't really want to come out but I know that they are just gonna use some alcohol okay All right, let's see. I have one on that side there. Like, get out, friend. <laughs> I'm trying to mash it. I got it. So, it looks like it's no more. That streak is from the alcohol. <clears throat> I ran out of my 91% alcohol, so this is like 99%. And <clears throat> so I'm going to leave this here. So it's, it's filled about to the way, the part where I want it. I'm going to let this cure, to, um, not completely, but right at cure because I want to make sure that looks about round. I want to make sure that when I pour in my next layer, I'm going to be putting this in with ashes, okay? So I'll have ashes. I already took some UV and put all around on the cork. See, I have to file that down right there because I had, it was a little bit too much that was there and I couldn't quite get it to stick down in it but i'm gonna put some ashes in here human ashes and i'm gonna take my top and seal it okay when i take this and push it, push it down in there i'm gonna seal the edges with some uv resin okay and that's what i want to do with that part so i'll be back okay y'all i am back now um my top here my cork I want to take, um, and if I would have thought about it a little bit earlier or sooner, I want to take this and place it here and just let it um, take my UV to make it stick. So I'm going to bring y'all on for that. <clears throat> I'm going to have it directly in the center and let me get my UV. I only have a little bit of UV, but it's okay. And by the way, this is um, J. Diction UV resin. Okay, so there's my. Come on and stop. <laughs> my little dollop. All right. And like I said, this from J. J. Diction UV resin. And I have my little light somewhere. I have it here. So I'm going to take this and try my best to hold it and keep it centered um, on this. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, now I could just hold it there for a moment. So that I can make sure that it stays, it remains there. If it happens to fall, it'll fall down into the ashes. I have my ashes here. I just put a cup over it so nothing won't get in there. I, I always like to put them about halfway so that, you know, you can pick the jar up. You can um, turn around and do all these things and... Uh, have that part like that so I'm just gonna try to make sure that this is steady and it is so that is um, let me show you a little bit close up see how it is that's what I wanted to do on this 
So I don't have to hold you for that because I don't, I'm not ready to go to the next step yet, but I wanted to show you how I get the cross up here onto the cork. Okay, now that this is completely dry, I want to um, show you the next step that I'll be doing, okay? So I want my cross to go in and I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and press this down really hard really hard because I'm I'm gonna want it to be sealed get it over a little bit on this side okay so now see how this looks it's the cross it's hanging down and everything so now what I want to do I want to take my UV resin and seal around this um, edge here. I want to seal that really good. But I think I need to get this down a little bit more on that side. Like it really don't want to go down. Okay, let's see now. Um, that's about for as far as it's going to go. But I'm still happy and content with the way it is okay still happy still content with it it looks nice in there all right so as I said I had very little UV resin left so I'm gonna try to go all around this edge I might do it just a little bit at a time but I'm gonna seal this Seal it all the way around. I hope you can still see what I'm doing. I have the camera zoomed in quite a bit, but I wanted to make sure that you could see everything. Okay. So it looks like all of that it's gonna be really sealed nicely. I'm gonna take my popsicle stick, make sure I'm in frame. I'm in frame a little bit. Take my popsicle stick and just go around these edges as if I'm just gonna come up on the edges because I, like I said, I wanted to make sure that this is completely sealed, all right? Because if you don't make it sealed, what will happen is there will be air bubbles that are trapped into the resin and it won't be as good. It won't look as good. So this is the purpose for, you know, sealing the cork with the UV resin and also sealing it around the edges really good. All right. You want everything to be sealed. So now what I'm gonna do, is just gonna go around with my UV light and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, this is how it looks, you know, up close. And you can see that I have it sealed all the way around the top with the UV, okay? And I have it sealed on the very top as well, okay? Um, the cross is in there pretty good. It's sealed good. I made sure before I, you know, got it, everything stuck in there. So <clears throat> when we come back, we will be putting this into the bulb, the bulb box itself. All right. So I'll be back. I am back. You guys, I got the camera kind of tilted because I got something else over here that I put a top coat on so just never mind the tiltness of it um, we're gonna go ahead and get the ashes inserted we're gonna turn it upside down okay I wonder is this too close to y'all <laughs> we're gonna turn it upside down and we're just gonna drop it down in here all right try to get it centered 
let's let's move these first so I can try to get the bottle centered uh oh I'm hoping that right there is centered it looks like it's not centered wait a minute y'all I'm gonna try to get it as centered as I can It's a little wobbly wobbly. So I'm going to try to go for right there, maybe. Oh, oh gee. Gee whiz. Okay, I don't know how centered I can get it. I keep breaking the seal from the previous resin at the bottom I may have to just let it stay like this like I really need it to come over a little bit let me see can I get it broken again okay okay I'm good with that I think that's about as center as I can get it so I have my resin mixed up um, it was just sitting there I don't have to put on any gloves right now because I've already had my gloves on doing all the mixing so now what I'm gonna do is just pour this slowly pour it slowly and let it leak over I think what I have in this um, bottle is about I think it was four or five I don't know whether it was four or five ounces. Oh, it needs way more than that. I thought the bottle would take up a lot of room. It's starting to come up now. I need it just a little bit more. <laughs> How about that? Okay, try to get all of this out, and so I do have to put on some gloves to get my resin mixed up again. Oh boy, I gotta get it again. And that resin was really good. Um, wasn't too hot wasn't too cold um it's it's like just right so i'm gonna put those cans there to try to make it hold its shape i see a bubble or two okay nothing bad though nothing bad i need to put about another ounce in here yeah so what I'll do, i add another ounce, so I'll be back. But when I come back, I'm not just going to pour another ounce and, you know, come back to you. Um, then what I'm going to do is when it's time to demold, it's when I'll be back. But you saw how I put this in. So, <sighs> won't be much longer now. Okay, to my crafty creators, we are back, okay? Everything seems fine. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna check it out and find out if it's actually fine. Okay. So, first of all, I have some soapy water here. Okay. So, I'm just gonna try to get this loose a little bit. All right. Just gonna try to get it loose all the way around. Um, it helps to uh, kind of like break the seal of the suction. Okay, so we're going to then work it like this to try to get that uh, sudgy water all the way down. Still not ready to pop. Okay. 
do a little twist and there seal has been broken oh okay <laughs> i am not upset with it at all it's a little different which is what i was going for okay a little different a little pizzazz i'm i'm trying to wipe it off y'all real quick okay let's get wiped off and let's bring our let's put this to the side bring this here oh see now i get to look on the inside and the ashes of course they move okay that's why I didn't want to feel it all the way. I like it. Um, let me get this out of your eyes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I I like it. And like I said, it is it is different. Very different. So <clears throat> this is the cork that goes along with it. Just pop that up there. And voila. We have our ashes within the bottle and it is protected. It's the bottom. Oh, that's nice. It is nice. I don't see any bubbles that could have surfaced from the cork on the inside. I, I think I like it. Now, this is not a bubble right here. This is actually on the jar itself. Um... I don't know, I guess when they were making the glass, it done that. Oh, there's a small bubble there. Okay. And my daughter and I noticed something. If you listen closely, wait a minute, I'm gonna try to be real quiet. You can't hear it now. Very little, but I think, um, Either a bone or a tooth, part of a tooth or something is in there. And it makes this sound that you can hear. But, you know, I just thought I'd bring that up to you. But this is, it's nice. I like it. This is my father's favorite color too. Also one of mine. Let's see, can we hold it like this for you to see? Okay. It's really nice. I like it a lot. It's a good night light. Not too um bright or anything, but it is it is pretty. I like it. Okay. So <clears throat> this concludes this video. Um I wanted to do something a little different and I successfully did something a little different. So I hope to um See you all on the next video. Remember to stay positive. Say something kind to someone. It never hurts to um, say something nice. Okay. So I will see you all on the next one. Bye for now.